So the next hand is on table four, and I think I absolutely butchered this hand, not to spoil the hand or anything, but I think this is a complete leak, and I just want to kind of emphasize the point when you're, even when I'm, you're playing in four tables, you can make so many mistakes, and that's why I advocate playing so few tables, and just really focusing on your actions, and actually having a thought process for everything that you do. And if you really don't, you're just clicking buttons. In this particular hand, I definitely clicked buttons. And it shows because I lost a ton of value. And I think I just played the hand just really badly. So, as far as what the hand goes, we had pocket aces and pocket eights. Double suit, double paired aces basically with this suit. The weaker player, Super Jazz, opens from the cutoff. And this is our first hand with the villain right above it. He is a very strong villain, a little too aggressive for my taste, but he is quite competent, and I think he's actually one of the best players at the limit, depending on what he's thinking. But the thing to keep in mind here is he has a very high 3-bit percentage, especially in this exact spot, when he wants to fold out the big blind and play a heads-up pot. He has no problems playing out of position with the initiative. He actually probably does it more than calling to begin with. So, the problem I have with, you're going to see I actually call, I think it's this giant leak. I mostly did it because I thought the stack sizes were going to come into play, but I realized after the hand that Super Jazz is actually not as deep as I thought he was. I thought he was deeper. Again, not paying attention or just misreading stack sizes. Even with if he was the exact step that, that we are effectively at 165 BBs deep, I still think it's a very easy 3-bet. I will, excuse me, cold 4-bet. I will be able to get enough money in post into the pot preflop to make my hand well enough if we to be able to stack off in a lot of textures, especially because I'm going to hit enough textures to begin with to making a cold 4-bet. Even if we were, say, 200 BBs deep, that gets a little sketchier, but I would think it would still be very easy for bet. So we decided to call, after thinking about cold for betting, of course. I'm checking a few stats of Super Jazz, among other things. And we actually get a really good flop, as you will see in just a moment. We flop top set, and... Another consideration for calling here, it doesn't really justify my play, is that right above it loves to represent aces when he 3 bets. So if I do hit top set, I expect to get a, a ton of value. The problem though, as you will see, is that he does C bet. And again, I clicked buttons, I didn't really think about the hand at all. Is that when I raise here, which you're going to see I will in a minute. I think my size is okay. I think I should have made it a little bit smaller, maybe around like 49, just trying to look kind of like I'm full of shit. But the problem with that is though, I'm never going to be doing this as a bluff. It would be pretty much suicidal, especially because of Super Jazz stack. If he basically has an ace and some kind of connectivity, which is going to be like ace-king-queen type hands, he may or may not fold them. Uh, given how much I play this player, he doesn't like to fold a ton. So it really depends. But the thing to keep in mind about right above its range, it's going to be quite weak here. And, you know, I really don't care about any turn cards. If he does have King, Queen, 10, and he gets there in the turn, that that's okay. You know, he gets my money. I'll get money in against his weaker parts of his range. But he barrels 60% of the time. When I call this flop, it should look like ex I should just have like an ace, like say like ace king queen like four or something like that, or just like ace queen ten nine, just some kind of ace that really doesn't believe him, because we do have a good amount of history of about three thousand hands. So I expect him to barrel quite wide whenever he picks up some equity or just thinks I'm very weak. I think raising really doesn't accomplish a whole lot. There's really no scare cards if he does have, say, pocket jacks or ace jack or ace king queen ten or something like that. So I think raising is definitely the worst play here. And so, as you will see after thinking about it, Super Jazz folds quite quickly. 
and right above it actually snap folds, which is kind of interesting, but again, it just shows that he was just c-betting a very wide range there, because he does love to represent the aces. I think he would c-bet almost 100% of his range, even something like pocket kings, intending to just bet once and be done with it, 